strings on the right side of the bridges to make some melodies. And the left hand press strings on the left side of the bridges to make some ornamentations or some arch to change the pitches. Like this. I will show you a little bit. This is a short part from the lotus standing in the water. After years of development, uh, Gu Zheng has borrowed some techniques from the Western instruments like piano and harp. For example, both hands play together can make the chords. make the broken chords. And the right hand can also make tremolo. So now I'll um, show you a little bit how we use these techniques in music. Since Guzheng is a very expressive instrument, um, it was popularized in many regions of ancient China uh, since thousands of years ago. So, influenced by local operas and dialects, Guzheng has developed into several schools. And we when we talk about schools, we mainly refers to the traditional schools because um, for contemporary works, um, schools are not commonly used in describing the contemporary world. They are more free, free in style. So, um, I have listed some major schools on the slide, and you can see the upper four schools are from can be I can identify as southern group, and uh, north and the. Bottom four schools are identified as 
the northern schools. Generally, um, the music from the south of China would sound more graceful and uh, peaceful. Well, the schools from the north would sound strong and uh, passionate in tunes. <coughs> yeah. And now I will show you a short part from the representative school from the south, Chaozhou School. Chaozhou is now in the Guangdong province. Jack Dawes playing in the water, Han Ya Xi Shui. This um, this school is um, very representative um, of the South, but it has unique characteristics. For example, they have special notes for Fa and T. Why we say it's special? Because as we know, um, Guzheng music mainly use the pentatonic um, scale. It's like one, uh, Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La, five notes in the scale. But in Chaozhou school, we often use a lot of Fa and T notes in the music. And what's interesting, the Fa note will be a little higher than natural Fa, but a little lower than sharp Fa. And the T will a little lower than natural T, but it's um, a little higher than the flat T. So now let's hear it. Jack Dawes playing in the water. <laughs> 